I have a feeling that this game won't need much introduction because if you've clicked on this video you're probably one of the many who has been swamped <laughs> on social media about this game since its release day. And this game of course is Cult of the Lamb. I never imagined what was waiting for me in this game because besides the title and the almost creepy <laughs> screenshots of the game I really didn't know much about it going in. So I was pleasantly surprised that it's actually such an adorable, charming, and cute game <laughs> despite the exterior. In a quick summary I would say it's like a darker Animal Crossing, maybe a little bit of Cozy Grove and Stardew Valley. In this game you play as this possessed lamb and you have to pretty much build a following as the title says. You're to build this cult and you have to take care of your followers who happen to be different animals as well and you have to carry out these tasks that are given to you by this ominous stranger. There's gathering, there's crafting, there's cooking and building, farming, and so much more. A lot of the things that make up a good cozy game, right? <laughs> and of course what keeps the nice balance from the cozy relaxing side of the game is a very fun-filled, action-packed, almost dungeon crawling adventure. Basically every time you go out there are these randomly generated maps that you have to traverse and beat monsters. That's also where you gather resources, find more followers and at the very end there's almost like a mini boss or a main boss <laughs> that you have to eventually beat. There's so much to do in Cult of the Lamb and so much to love. It's one of those games where you just want to do one more thing, one little thing before you close off the game but before you know it it's been another you know hour, two hours, maybe even more. <laughs> Definitely way more at least in my case. <laughs> so since I haven't done a gameplay and chill for a while, I thought this would be the perfect game to do it with. I don't think it needs a comprehensive review of any sorts. I'm just here to tell you off the bat that if you do end up getting this game, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So grab a hot drink, a blanket, get comfy, and let's have a look at what Cult of the Lamb is about. Here are pretty much the top four games that I can't stop playing right now. I'd love to do a gameplay or review of Two Point Campus as well, so let me know below if you guys prefer these longer form chill gameplay videos or if you prefer a shorter review video like I did for Bear and Breakfast and on the SNES online and playing Earthbound right now and of course Xenoblade Chronicles 3 which is just uh, chef kiss. <laughs> what have you guys been playing lately? That scared me. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet, sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon true brows. So ominous. <laughs> I really thought when I first saw pictures for this game that it was going to be a creepy game. So it was much of my surprise when I found that I actually adore this game. <laughs> Look at this cute little lamb. All right. Oh, that's much forward. Nothing to see here. I saw on their Twitter page that they just passed a million players over the weekend, which is, you know, a huge congrats to the developers if they ever see this. They don't know that I'm making this video. I love your game. <laughs> Before us dance the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. Oh, poor Oh. And what is waiting beyond the fog for our little glam friend. Come 
closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you my death, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start the in my name. Do we have a deal? Yes or absolutely. Duh. <laughs> You're not giving us much of a choice. It does give a fair challenge while at the same time I think it's nothing super hard that it'll kind of turn you off of playing it, especially if you're looking for a game that is just mostly for a chill gameplay, you know? <laughs> fear not, I am Rato. Rato? I am once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the ones. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in great danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. The escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Alright. Was there anything in here? I don't remember. So we do, these coins will eventually come in handy and there will be lots of ways to make them and spend them as well. When in doubt, just like, just talk. I can't decide if I hate these guys more or that because they're really good at dodging. <laughs> Here we're meeting our very first follower. Is it bad up? We've bad nearly out. reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to get sacked. them, and they would have no choice but to join. <laughs> O oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on our sacred ground? Oh, poor little guy. Let's rescue him. Follower awaits indoctrination. Let's go meet him. We've reached safety. We have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin on your quest. I'll meet you there. Perfect. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. And let's continue.
Here you can select the difficulty, easy, medium, hard, or extra hard, and medium is what the developer recommends, so that's what we'll do for this playthrough as well. But like it says, you can return to the screen at any time and select an easier or harder difficulty depending on what you're after. This hallowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new home. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your heart. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Oh, perfect. So let's indoctrinate him. Please spare me. I love it. You can change the name or just pick a random one. You can choose different forms. This one is from the DLC. We'll keep his original form for the sake of this video and you can also choose a variant with like a different hairstyle. Um, I like the ones with the markings because <laughs> it just adds to that cult vibes, you know? We're running a cult but we can still be fashionable, right? <laughs> So here are his traits and different followers could have different traits that are beneficial or detrimental to your um, following so it's important to pay attention to that because some might end up hurting you in the future such as spreading falsehoods about you and putting doubt in your others followers minds and they might turn against you. This is serious stuff. <laughs> And we'll ask him to well, chop down some trees for us. Fire hands are cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. So, okay. He is helping us gather lumber. So let's mine for some stone. I will collect some berries as well, which we can use to cook meals with. Just gather a couple. And let's see how our friend's doing. He has taken a while with that lumber there. So maybe we can help him out. <laughs> there we go. Resources do regenerate in time, but when they're not regenerating fast enough and you might need more resources you are able to gather more while you're out exploring the different worlds so cooking fire here we go and let's just set it there <laughs> and let's build perfect so your followers need to eat and it's up to you to provide meals for them hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left when this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Let's cook this berry bowl. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the old faith. opening to the realms, it's your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be free. <laughs> there you shall find gold and willing recruits, and for those who are not willing, convert them by force. Let's go. Here we go. Open the door. And each door requires more and more power, so for this one, we just see the one. <laughs> Thank you, follower. And every time you jump into um, a new crusade, you're given a random weapon. 
Conduit to great power, promise liberator of the one that was So the cards showed me once many lifetimes ago, or has that been to me? I've always I have always drawn your cards, Slam, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards are shown. So every crusade you can find this tarot shop and every card that you pull will grant you some sort of temporary power. So in this case, it can be a heart or one attacked. There's a 10% chance of negating damage. Since our heart is quite low for now, I will go for, I'll go for the extra heart. Thank you for the heart container. Okay. And we can here are freebies. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Thank you. And here you can choose which route to take in each crusade. Depending on the resource you need, you can choose which path, like the berries or the stone. Why don't we go for the berries? There is still quite a bit of stone and lumber in our cult area, but eventually it does run out, so. Let's gather some berries for now. Lots of berries. I do really like the art style as well. It's kind of like a like a storybook, a twisted fairy tale of some sort. <laughs> and here's the first mini boss that we'll encounter. Or at least the power too. <laughs> if you're just a little bit more patient but I know sometimes I have a habit of like button mashing and in that case then they can attack me <laughs> because I'm not being careful. Um here. Oh. Something's happening. It's one of the bishops. Bless you. How can this be? You were put through the blade lamp as all of your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be, but I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Mm, I don't think so, Lushy. <laughs> but here's another tarot. Heart or weapon damage. Um, Let's get one. Thank you. Let's face our first mini boss. You have come far enough. 
with a lamp, my followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of your I'm Jusius. I give myself to the cause, O mighty leader. By the blood of the Great Ones, destroy the Red Crown. I mean... I only have one follower so far, so... Alright, Jusius. Guy. So then we can come. Please spare me. your cults. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you are more than welcome to our cult. So we can get. Let's get lemon since we got berries and seeds. Lots of coins, lots of coins. Let's head back. One down. One to go. Pretty successful crusade if I want to face on this Very good, my best It seems I chose well and I kept you from death. I will be watching your every Do not disappoint me. I'm relieved to see you made it safely and you've not returned alone. You've convinced more of you are our faithful love. Let us indoctrinate this near the so that we make it to you. Gladly. Please spare me. I'm Jusius. And for the mini bosses, we can change their form, but we don't have different variants since they do look different from the regular. Um, followers, and he's got a strong constitution, he's gullible, <laughs> and he's faithful. Sounds like the one of the followers. Let's get him to do stones. Is it bad followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Let's build that shrine, shall we? Cost 30 coins. Ah, that's so much money. Let's help them build. Praise be, your followers can now worship. Here's a new follower. Assign them to your shrine, then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. <laughs> so cute. Hello. Shalom, bye. Jew Jolna, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings. Ah. Um, let's keep let's keep his form, but let's add these markings that I like. <laughs> Another good follower to have. He's naturally obedient and colorful. Ah. Welcome, welcome, and you shall worship me <laughs> at the shrine. So devotion will unlock divine inspiration, and the more followers worshipping at your shrine, the faster they'll fill up. Once you've collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Divine inspiration unlocked. Our temple. Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Perfect. And we've also unlocked sleeping bags, body beds, farm plot, and farm lumber. Let's build our temple, which only needs 15 lumber and 5 stone, which we have exactly. Where should we put our temple? I feel like temple should be pretty accessible, so I might put it, let's put it by the entrance. <laughs> They're on their way to help us 
So cute. There we go. The temple is the center of your court. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually you. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are a great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Let's go. Look at our cute little temple. Come, my followers. <laughs> Listen to my word. <laughs> Strength through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> You are an amazing child, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you're to guide your cult, you'll need to declare doctrine so that they might obey. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. Will do. Back to the dark wood we go. Alright, what do we got this time? Traitor's Razor. A quick flip. I think I like the quick blade better than the axe. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown. And this is I will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy and it reveals our curses. Oh, here we go. What does Leshy have to say this time? <laughs> so you foolishly persist, little now. I hear your lies and I spell your fear. The red crown rises again. But what an unworthy error I guess. That's rude. <laughs> Go Leshy. Leshy is pretty much the first boss. In the first bishop. Piece of cake, and we found the tarot shop. <laughs> this is my favorite. Let's see, death store or fortune's blessing. Let's do double help. Here we go. What do you have for us? We got a hay pile, which is a decoration item. For our perfect. Um, oh, little squirrel. Ah, oh, he actually gives us some meat <laughs> to feed our flock. Okay, so here we've got two paths. This one, the marketplace one, allows us to buy a follower, but this one is for free, and we could really use the coins. So. We're gonna get the free one <laughs> and take on a battle instead. The worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes of our flesh, but that is the price of safety. For that we gladly give it all we have. It sounds so creepy. Oh. 
okay, little buddy. Oh, you can show him my thoughts. <laughs> Follower awaits. But we're not done yet, so let's go here. It looks like there's more coins. Steal some devotion. Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, folded this world to meet them and theirs. To our land of many gods, once, hundreds, now, um, not many, I suppose. <laughs> Here's a first tablet. Perfect. You found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple whenever you find a new stone. The swords mean that it's like a weapon chop. This really reminds me of... That Jonesica little weapon, by a well, a weapon chop, <laughs> also in Legend of Zelda. So Kudai, step forward, beast, from the swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you holy. <clears throat> you carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. No. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without the hand that wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor, and to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron, forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promise the brain. So here you can change either the weapon that you're using, and eventually you can choose different curses here as well. Let's okay. So less speed, but it is better for like one shot in your enemies. Um, don't forget to cut the cross because you can get cross. <laughs> Go figure. It'll be helpful for some things that you can build. And another mini boss. We've got this, right? <laughs> it's these guys again. Oh, I think I decided that I don't like them over the past. <laughs> what do you got for me? Weapon damage or deal poison. Let's do the damage. Because with the cleaver that we got, hopefully we're dealing lots of damage. That will one shot our enemies. <laughs> Alright, this should be the boss. Fail card. Oh, my God. 
those creepy people. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, guys. Nope, we got him. <laughs> oh, and look at him. He's all scared now. Return to the world. Blueprint or seeds? Oh, it's a blueprint. We got a brick flooring. Have fun. Alright. Oh, we got four guys all beat up. But we got lots of coins. <laughs> Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Your faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold, for you can always regain the trust with a well placed gesture. Let it empower you, give it to them. Let it give you a license to do unspeakable things. Spend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. follower action and we can make lines. which pretty much just gives us an idea of what they need at any given time because some of them depending on the actions that you take their faith could lower some of them could even sort of go against you um, so. So let's, I'm gonna go and unlock the sleeping bags because we don't have anywhere where we to sleep. Okay. Holly's such a good cult leader. <laughs> Definitely not planning on killing it. Let's do farm pot. We have a bit of seeds, I think, that we can make use of. It. So, let's build. Wait, how many followers do we have yet? Let's get this guy. Ty Nano. I do. I do tend to keep their names, their original names, just because I probably can't think of a more unique name than they already have, so. <laughs> so their traits, he's a skeptic, but he's gullible. I guess so. Like, just don't oh. spread lies about me into the cult, okay? <laughs> You're gonna worship me, and here's Failfar. You could also oh. worship me. <laughs> so we have got five followers. Where should we put them to sleep? I think near the temple would be nice. better <laughs> Look, I'll even make you a meal. I'm so nice. Let's do another sermon today. So you can do one sermon every day. There's all our cute followers. Perfect. Let's see, bang weapons. Poisoning enemies or three new curses will appear. Let's do main weapons. Alright. <laughs> oh. And we'll up 
greater crown. So each new dot should give us more crown, basically. And for our first one, Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. <laughs> Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep the faith. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy your skeletons to gather the bones. Return to the lands of your faith, gather bones from all your enemies, recruit more followers, and return to perform a ritual here at the temple. After slaying a non believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. Let's help them build their beds first. It's almost nighttime, so they'll be looking for a place to sleep. Otherwise, if they sleep on the ground, they do sort of. they lose a little bit of their faith later, you know? <laughs> and we got our first. Heck it, so it is true, the red crown sits upon the brown calamar. But how we did everything it matters now. We need not bother Shim Shimura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. These red flowers um, gives us chameleon, which we can use for crafting as well. <laughs> Alright. Shall we... Which way shall we go? Question mark? Or the stone? <gasps> I don't know. Because the stone will give us another follower, but this one... I don't remember what this one's for. Let's do a question. Let's gamble. What do we have here? Receive challenge. <gasps> Hello there, Crusade. <laughs> you make it through the next few combat rooms with nary a scratch, taking no damage. I'll wrestle you with the <laughs> But if you fail, then alas, it's not for you. <gasps> oh man, can we do it? Let's try. <laughs> it's a red crown. What's this one about? I don't know if I've ever gotten this room before, actually. Possessions will follow you through death. What? What did that just do? Okay then. <laughs> I feel like look, we're definitely gonna take damage. As you guys have seen, I can't. <laughs> got a new curse. I kind of like... Oh, thank you. I'll take that. I kind of like the one that we have on the so I think I'm gonna... Next one. Oh 
I'm so nervous just because of the challenge. Wait, that was easy. <laughs> why aren't you just, why aren't you just something you completed in the challenge? There was something good. I think this is a decent one. We got dirt floor. But it's not showing. Why is it showing? No. We didn't get another path. Another path. I mean, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love customizing many things. Well, let's do that. And the nice thing about paths in this game is that it's um, unlimited, so you don't have to worry about getting um, more resources for it. Okay, flooring. That'll be perfect for my farming area. Thank you. In my first playthrough, I got a lot of decoration off the bat, but I didn't really have any resources or enough gold to build them anyway, so... Paths are good too. <gasps> Who's that guy? He's so good. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. <laughs> what do you have for us? Damages everything on screen when hit or reveal the map. The map one is pretty helpful because sometimes there are things that you can unlock in certain rooms, but I like this one, seeing as that I keep getting hit. <laughs> Barbados. Not to get confused by a communication spot. <laughs> Okay, berries. Let's do blueprint. I love it. <laughs> Not really. I really want to show some decoration to you guys, but it's not letting me right now. <laughs> you can probably hear me. Let's go. Thank you. Yes. Another success. You see me here in chains reduced to nothing, but it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the of the They betrayed me and left me behind. I am guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop and you break the chain. Break all four and I will be free. I gave you a life for the castle. Now I must repay the debt. You know what this means. The bishops are the bishops. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. <laughs> so far, I love every single follower that we have. So I feel kind of bad. But in my other playthrough, there was one that was spreading so much garbage <laughs> garbage talk about us and actually says later so I was more than happy to um give them the chop you know <laughs> we unlock another divine inspiration what does this one do again um allows followers to water crops let's do this one I think are we sacrificing anyone soon? I kind of want to make one for myself. Let's do this one. <laughs> and then we're gonna make the cult two. Get a new upgrade. 
Here we go. So we have the farm plot. The silo needs more stone, but we can probably build the station so they can help us water it. Oh my god. They sound so cute. Sacrifice ritual around him. <laughs> um, you can also worship. He needs another bed. Oh, poor guy. So he will, he would have slept on the ground if it didn't turn into morning. So let's get him. Oh, he wanted to talk to us. Sorry. Later, if we want to survive here, we're going to need to start finding some food. So he wants us to build the farm plots. Well, I got you, don't worry. But let's do our ritual real quick. We'll be really happy when we do. Sermon. Look at how many followers we have now. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. Let's do our first ritual. Not the sacrifice yet, but let's do the So cute. Look how happy they are. Indoctrinating right. followers is well and good, but there's so much more you can do. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they're totally loyal to you, they will give you everything. Watch as I show you. Follower, come back in here. What are you doing? Oh, okay. I was like, you're not gonna. You're not about to kill my follower, are you? <laughs> Increase the follower's loyalty to level them up and they will reward you with devotion. All right, so we can give them praises. Um, also give them gifts or completing quests, just it's like what we just requested us to build a farm plot. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I'll show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. So we unlock the Lonely Shack. And there are other places to unlock as well, such as a place to fish, um, a place to do other challenges, other things. So there's really lots to do in this game. But why don't we build that farm plot? Oh, we see a little poop. Let's clean that up. <laughs> and sanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If they're sick, you have to assign them to bed rest or they could die. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Easy, right? They look like they're fighting. <laughs> but here we could interact with them and give them our blessing. So that'll give us or give them more faith and loyalty. So another They hate it. They hate it so much. Don't worry. I do too. Bless thee. In lamb we trust. They look like they're fighting. Oh sorry I interrupted. He did not like that. Kill far. Quite a big area. Okay. Oh, I love how they hate the poops, but then they all like run to look at it <laughs> just so they can make a pukey face. Hey, they're fighting. Are they fighting? <laughs> Help me build, you guys. Hello, back to work, please. Sorry, you didn't like that. But <laughs> Why don't we build? Let's see. We've got quite a bit of gold, but we don't have a lot of grass. So let's do a cute little patch there. Thanks for helping, you guys. So I'm going to plant. Um, let's do berry. Oh, we have 
another follower request? Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It is time you gave it a name. Well, I think I'm gonna keep it Cult of the Lamb, but you can't change it. <laughs> cult of the Lamb, it has a nice oh. ring to it. This um, water, and then we can actually use their poops as fertilizer. <laughs> There you are. I made your fucking pot. Oh do you like it? I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. I love you enough. Oh. And we got another doctrine. Um, give a gift. Who should we give a gift to? Let's see. Who's close to leveling up? Let's, um, let's unlock this one. We don't need the body pits until we you know, do the deed and then we have one of them. So. Now we upgrade our shrine, upgrade our cults. I think this is a perfect um, you know, ending to our preview. Here, should we do. One last crown upgrade before we end up. Which doctrine should we declare? So we can choose afterlife, work and worship, law and order, or possessions. I really, I'm sure there's a guide somewhere on this, but I really just did it. Um, <laughs> so the exists the necessity of sacrifice or the comfort of afterlife. Belief in sacrifice, belief in afterlife. Why don't we do this one since we did get that ritual from the wise one. <laughs> so we can do the sacrifice ritual with no guilt because it'll increase our followers' faith. Oh. Alright. The tray will be applied to all members and will change how their faith is affected by it. Lots, lots and lots to unlock and uncover as you can see the different doctrines that we can um, place. And, and this is where we end our preview. This has been the first hour preview of Cult of the Lamb. I, it's such a cute and fun game and I know that many of you will like it too. Let me know below what your thoughts are of Cult of the Lamb, if you're playing it, if you're thinking about it, did this playthrough convince you of getting it? And um, I'd also love to know down below if you prefer these sort of long form sit down and chill gameplays. I haven't done one of these in a while and I really, really do enjoy doing them, but I know some of you prefer these shorter review style videos just like I did for Bear and Breakfast. Anyway, don't forget to like the video if you like the video and while you're down there consider subscribing for more cozy casual cute gaming Content such as this one. Thank you so so much for watching as always take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time